and watch this video. Hi your readers, do you want a balloon? Or do you want to continue watching this video so I reveal why I'm being my creepy self? Well, I'm being creepy because in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the three best things about Stephen King's It. Oh, I get it! So, why don't we just float right into the video? This is a story of a creepy clown who eats children. Its name is Pennywise, and a group of teenagers decide to put a stop to this disappearance of children. The group's name is the Losers Club, and this whole story is set in the town of Derry. There are seven people in the Losers Club. Bill, Beverly, Ben, Mike, Eddie, Richie, and Stanley. When Pennywise mutilated Billy's younger brother, Georgie, he kind of made the other losers kill Pennywise. Eventually, they all killed Pennywise together and... or at least they thought so. 27 years passed by and they all received calls from Mike from Derry. It's back and they all pack their bags and make their way to Derry. All except one. What? Once they're in Derry, they seem to see or feel the presence of Pennywise, which is kind of weird because Pennywise only haunts children, not grown-ups. So, they, they decide to kill Pennywise once and for all. Finally! So they make their way into the sewers to finally defeat Pennywise. Their main plan is to use the ritual of Chud. In the ritual of Chud, you have to metaphorically bite down onto another person's tongue and tell each other jokes. And whoever laughs onto these jokes, they will be destroyed permanently. The Losers Club win and try to make their way out of the sewers, but not all of them make it out of life. No! Now finally, I'm going to be telling you guys the top three things that I absolutely loved about this book. The first thing is the Losers Club. I mean, they're just so lifelike. Usually in the story, they exaggerate what happened to the main characters, but in this story, you feel as though it's based on a true story. And this book was supposed to be a creepy and scary book, but somehow, the Losers Club managed to balance the creepiness. The second best thing that I liked about this book is about Pennywise the Dancing Clown. That terrifying babyish looking like clown who can literally haunt you anywhere. It's like magic, he can even haunt you in your dreams. He feeds on your flesh and feasts on your fear. And since this book, the clown has become a symbol of fear, not a symbol of fun. Well said, Robin! Apart from the size of the book, the thing that I love most about this book is the town that it was set in, Derry, Maine. I like Derry because it has everything you can ever ask for. A school, a local library, a cinema, and lots of other shops, and lots of other stuff. I mean, who needs skyscrapers to live, right? I would love Derry, and I would love living there. So these are the three things that I loved best about it. This book is written by Stephen King. I would rate it a 4 out of a 5. Don't forget to go hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell, and also drop a like on this video. Or else, you'll float too. <laughs> Calls from Mike from Derry. Go to Derry. Once they make their way to Derry, I say Derry a lot. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. Hey, Ron Swanson. What the hell? So it learns information about me?